Right, hello again. I just want to talk about universal car displays. So you know these Android Auto CarPlay devices, which you can use Google Maps, Waze, play your music, reverse your cameras, all the rest of it. So you'll have heard of the popular brands, um, Capio Ride, uh, Road Top. But this is how it arrived. That was split there. But apart from that, it was a pretty decent box, really. Anyway, let's lift the lid. First of all, you'll see in the top of the box is the screen now it's quite a big screen okay that's 10.26 inches I believe let's just start with the basics all right so let's go to the left hand side all right could we see on there so what we've got there is audio so that's audio out 3.5 mil jack to go to your auxiliary on your car stereo AV in that's reverse camera USB, we've all seen one of them, USB type A. TF slot, or micro SD slot, whichever one you prefer to call it. And 12 volt DC in. Okay, so that's all your connections up the side there. On the top here, we've got a power button on and off. Nothing on the other side, nothing on the bottom. All right, let's turn to the rear. And we can see here, there's our mounting point. For when we come to fix the bracket on to connect it to the windscreen the dashboard or there's a little removable plate here which i've not investigated but i'm quite intrigued to find out what that does there's also there a reset button so obviously it resets the device back to factory and starts again all right so i'm just going to place that there for now all right so what we've got in here so we've got a couple of different mounts oh excuse me Right, here we go. So we've got a couple of different mounts. So we've got a sticky pad that can fit onto the base of here and stick to your dashboard directly. Now you'll see here, let's set this up. That lifts up and down and it should rotate. There we go. It rotates. That's quite tight that, so that's not so bad. And then this will go into the back of the slots on the device. There we go. He's right, so let's set it off a minute. So that's that one. It can be screwed. You can see here we've got some screw holes. Or use the sticky pad provided. That fits snugly in there. And then down onto your dashboard. Right on. Next one is the windscreen mount. Exactly the same connection on the back as before. So what you've got here, you've got an adjustable angle. So let's just say our windscreen's here. We can adjust that to whatever angle we need. Yep. And then what we can do is just undo the look underneath, this one here. Undo this look underneath and then this will extend this arm telescopically. So we can adjust it forward or backward, depending on whether you've got a smaller vehicle or a big vehicle. We'll just tighten that back up again. And then you've got an adjustable bezel here, which is to help you adjust the screen position even further. Right now then we've got a box of cables. Let's just empty them into there. Right. So that's for your reversing camera. So do you remember when I shown you on the on the slot there? So that would go into there, into AV. And then your reversing camera goes into there. Now you can buy this with a reversing camera. I chose not to because I just wanted to make this video as cheap as I possibly could. Have a guess how much do you think this costs, by the way? Bear in mind, a road top or a car pure ride can be a couple of hundred pounds slash dollars, depending on where you are in the world. This is for your video camera. Right, next of all, we have got the auxiliary jack cable, three and a half mil jack. So that goes in the top one, and then that end will go into the auxiliary in your vehicle, vehicle stereo. And your power supply, which yeah, I'm a bit disappointed that it's only the small jack like that. I would have preferred that to be a USB-C, so you, you know you could use any cable you wanted. But you've got that. That's one downside. But the plus side is this goes straight into your 12 volt, and it provides you with two USBs as well. By the way, I don't know if you can see me jackery over there. I'm going to be simulating that as my 12 volt supply for my vehicle. I want to show it working in-house 
and then we can just take it outside and plug it into the vehicle. Right on, so what I've done, I've just mounted it onto my wall tiles here. I've adjusted it best for the camera, hopefully you can see what's going on there. I've plugged the 12 volt supply into my jack array, I've not switched it on yet. And I've plugged the power supply into its jack port on that side there. And we've got an old vehicle, we've plugged it in. And we get our little start out screen. Right, first word of warning you've got there. Wireless, please connect the car stereo with your phone via Bluetooth. So I've got my phone here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is just go into Bluetooth. Er, there. And we're going to be looking for a device SWL. Well, there we go. The very one, last one at the bottom. So we're just going to click on that. It's going to ask us to pair it, which is four zeros. And pair. Right, allow. Okay. And there we have it. Android Auto just popped up straight away without me even doing anything. Right, I'll just make sure me music doesn't play. Let's get rid of this. Go to. Let's just go to there for now. Right, so you saw how easy what that was. It was out and about. It'd be connected to me 5G. In fact, it is connected to 5G, as it says so in this corner here. All right, what I'm using is Waze as the map operating system on my phone. And what I'm going to do is just quickly go into the menu, which is this for um, dots, what you saw in the corner here. If I press exit, right, now we're about the gubbins of it. So, yeah, you can see. It makes speaks for itself really. So we've got time. There we go. So you can set the date, time, or whatever. But it's linked to my phone, so it will always do what I want it to do. FM transmitter. So we'll do this when we set it out in the van. But basically, you set, pick a spare frequency. So you can either pick one of these or just tune it in whatever you want yourself. And that will now start transmitting at that at that um, range. And so you tune your stereo in to exactly that same one. But what you've got to do is remember is to switch that on so it will start transmitting. So the phone link is either it be the Android Auto or the CarPlay. So if you connect to yours via CarPlay, when you press phone link, it'll come up with CarPlay if you're an iPhone fanboy. Bluetooth music, which I haven't got any. For some reason it's saying invalid. Let me get back to it. I don't know why I say it. Oh, it's saying there because I'm connected to the Bluetooth via this. That's right. Sorry, I do apologise. Right, let's go back to here. Exit that. Let's just go back into here. Right. You've got your basic setup. So I've built, it, built in speaker switched off. Reverse is off. Driving band video, that's off. Basically, that should be on because you don't want to be using your device while you're driving. Calibration, that does the little touch spots all the way around here. If you go into factory reset, it'll ask you for the pin code. So it is 113266. Enter. Right, so it should ask you a few questions here. So you should be able to change the, the user interface. So you see this interface selection. So remember we saw it with the four blue grids. If we click that, it changes it to number 12. So you've only got the two, U12 or U, U, U11 or U12. Main icon, what's that? All right, okay, so there are options you can have on the front screen. I don't want calendar on to start with. And I'm not bothered about changing the wallpaper. Save that. There we go. Now there's the new interface. Now I prefer that myself. I do prefer that myself. Let's just click that and it takes it back to Android Auto. Issue loading maps retry. I think that's because I was faffing on my phone as well. Let's just get rid of that. Right, so 
Let's have a look what else we've got here. So basically, you've got to remember that this is whatever's on your phone, whatever you decided to link to it. So I've got WhatsApp business, um, Waze messages. So let's scroll, go phone. There we go. Let's go to phone. All right. So. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Please try a little later. <laughs> yeah, for some reason it's saying the internet's gone down. But anyway. So you can see contacts there, so you can just dial straight out. Or you can go into your contacts and go from there. More, so voicemail, or actually dial your own number. Um, I'm not going to dial myself because I don't want to. All right, let's go back to here, menu. Um, That's for where anybody uses Waze and how that works. WhatsApp. No message in WhatsApp. If I actually happen to get a message. I don't know why that floating button's there. I haven't worked out how to remove that yet. But let's see if I can. Let's go back to Spotify. So you can see there if I come out of there. Play Absolute Radio. Streaming Absolute Radio from TuneIn. Stop. Right, simple as that, wasn't it? Whatever appears there should be whatever appears in your most recent list. Anyway, so to make that full screen, you can press Spotify, bring it all to this side, press it again, that should make that full screen. Right, let's go back then. Right, so if you want to make your map full screen, you just press your little Waze icon and it'll make it full screen. Easy as that, in it? Set your destinations. So if you click there, I've got a few places here. So if I just click work. So you can see sometimes, I don't know if it's because it's me. But I don't even know if there's film on there. I've got, cause I've got a bit of greasy Let's fingers. Go. It's not, there you go. And that's that set. But what we'll do now is um, end that. Let's go back here. Go back to here. Exit the app. And it takes you back to that screen. Right, I need to adjust the clock because it's in 12 hour clock. And I don't like 12 hour. Mm, sound, I think sound. Actually, I was like graphic equalizers here. Yeah. So you can set it to your own or just click whatever you want. Let's leave it on user for now. Display settings, brightness, blah, blah, blah. Wallpaper, screen saver. Actually, I don't want the screen saver on. Language speaks for itself, clock speaks for itself. Version, there we go. Right, so what else about this then? So we know that it's got a USB port on the side, don't we? So you can use that for showing movies, uh, playing music, blah, blah, blah. You've also got the TF slot, trans flash for all those who don't know, which is the same as micro SD. You've got mirror link, so you can mirror your phone to this device. And um, you've also got the option for a review camera. So what we're gonna do now, We'll take this apart, 
and I'll take it to my vehicle and just see the difference in there. Yeah, there we go. Right, I'm just gonna set the FM freaks again here, the, the static from the um, FM stereo in my car. So what I'm gonna do is just change the FM frequency to match what it says on here, 108. So, actually it might be quicker to go that way. Ah, right, that's both of them match now, right. I'm gonna turn the speaker off there. And then I'm gonna click home. And let's go back to the phone link. Right, I should have my Spotify set up to play um, non-copyrighted music. So I'm just gonna check that that's still the case. It should be background music for videos, yeah. So that's the latest thing on my Spotify, what's come up there. So if I just press play now. There you can see there as well. I've just got a message come up on there. So I can play it out loud. You see now that after so long it's gone for that. So I can play it out loud or just click that to reply. But I'm just going to clear it because I don't want to answer it just yet. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to set a destination. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to this place. Let's take Dundagan Road Sudden on Hull and B1237 Salts House Road Sudden Ings. Arrival time on this route is similar to Belfield Avenue, Mitcham Road, Sutton Ings. In 300 feet, turn left on Dundagan Road. So the big question is then, does this device do what you want it to do? So, will it play your music? Yes, it will. Turn left on Dundagan Road. Will it do your navigation? Yes, it will. Will it read out your messages which you receive whilst driving? Well, yes it will. Okay, Google, stop playing music. Thank you. Right, let's go into here. Let's go into settings. So you can see you've got. You don't have to show any part of your message if it's coming through. Uh, show conversations. Yeah, you want to know that you've got messages. But the next line, show first line of conversation. Well. Depending on where you are, you don't really want notifications or people seeing what people are sending to you. Uh, start Android automatically. Okay, I've got that on always. Remember, it's all part of your phone settings, this. This is just like a shortcut to your phone, really. Um, night and day for maps. I've got it set to night because I prefer night. I don't have a big white screen. Uh, up again. Right, driver seat location. So in this country, in the UK, you must drive on the right. If you're on the other side of the pond, you might have your steering wheel on the left. All right, so then that changes this orientation. But you can also change that anyway if you're not happy with that. You can change the layout. So you can have the media closest to the driver or the navigation closest to the driver which I prefer the navigation closest to the driver. Makes more sense that way. Let's go back to the map. 
full map again. Press it again and you'll get your music on the background. I just want to see if my um if this works in with this one because it does with me other uh, with my road top so Alexa weather report right now in Kingston upon Hull it's 12 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day you can expect more of the same with a high of 13 degrees and a low of 10 degrees also there's a yellow warning for rain in effect on Tuesday the 24th of October from 3 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah, so my Alexa still works because that's connected to this as well as my phone. All right, it seems here as well, this floating button gives you a home screen, power it off, or volume. All right, so, and that there, unbelievably not, is a volume control. So you live and learn. I press home now. Takes me back to there. Back to phone link. I've really got to press it for a bit longer <laughs> than just tapping it. But there we go. So yeah, so I said you could get a road top, which I've got here, which doesn't look too different, does it? This has got round bevels, that's got square bevels. The screen size actually in the cheaper one is bigger. Uh, this is nine inch, I believe. This is 10.26. Does it do exactly the same? Well, if it picks up out of Android, then yeah, it does do exactly the same. Does it pick up CarPlay? Yes, it does. So it does exactly the same. Quality of music? Yeah, I am. Um... Oh, I might have done that a tad too loud. So what I might do, I just found its limits there. There we go. So there you go, having it full on didn't work. But that's probably because, that's probably because this is a work van and the speakers aren't really meant for designed for um, loud music. But I've got my maps, I've got my music. I can listen to anything I want. I could put stuff in the side and watch it in the side. I could take my calls. I can do everything. The, price, the thing everyone's waiting to find out or the price of this device, whatever you want. So bear in mind, road tops, Capio rides, knocking on the door, 200 notes. That's 200 pounds, 200 dollars. Round about that, give or take. This of AliExpress was 37 pounds free delivery. And that was because if you spent over eight pounds, you got free delivery. So thirty-seven pounds. Does it do this? Yeah, it it might not be as super responsive as the other devices, but it does the job. And for thirty-seven pounds, can you grumble? Nah, I don't think so. If you want a better, faster, cleaner experience, then go ahead, buy the more expensive. But this at thirty-seven pounds, just to stick in your white van. Or your old car, it does exactly as what any other one does. So I would buy it. 37 quid, why not? Anyway, thanks for watching this. I hope it's been of some help just to show. Oh, but sad note, by the way, if you want to research this, or it's, it's a non branded device, but I got it from Podofo, P O D O F O, of AliExpress. But if you just type the model number in, which is um, Bravo 5303, I believe. I'll confirm that on screen. It will come up on, on Google and you will find that it is for sale on Amazon at £99. If you look on AliExpress, same thing. £37-ish, give or take. Okay. Right, see you all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.